Fern with the big scent, the really big scent. He's up the inside of both of them using all the road. And up the inside now comes Dale. Is he going to take the lead? No, there's going to be a bit of contact between those two. Grass. So oh, there's big contact. Big oh, contact. Big and slide. around goes Shoots. Lights go out. We are underway at Winton Motor Raceway. Noonan looks keen to take the lead at turn number one and does so around the outside of Fern and Oxley's looking to follow through but unfortunately he's been hung out to dry on the outside and has lost a place to Dale and Lachlan Fern in number 23 as well. It so didn't work out well for him at all that, that move so uh, big try down the outside but uh, let's uh, put him back a long way. Certainly has in the uh, 32 Ooh. machine of Riley Fern coming under pressure from the big truck. Number 60, Dale looking to the inside at turn uh, number seven or turn number five on the short layout. Now he's got to go the long way. The lightweight truck has got the uh, better ground, but oh, using the curb to try and avoid Dale. Just so, just about. So it's Noonan from Dale, Riley Fern, then Lachlan Fern, Oxley, and then rounding out the field machine in the other lightweight truck. There's two out there, they're the ones with the spoilers if you're watching around the track. If you're watching at uh, home on Blendline TV Premium, welcome. Thank you for joining us. This is the final race of the day. Five, one lap down, five to go. And if, uh, oh, sideways, obviously putting the power down, just trying to get the slingshot up the inside of Riley Fern and does so. Or does he, Fern, holding it around the outside? You can hear the tyres protesting around turn number one. He's going to hold on. Oh, not quite. So, two wheels through the gravel, and here he goes. Now he's going to be challenged by Shoots in the other lightweight truck. They're going to go side by side. Shoots the long way around the sweeper. Nearly two wheels through the grass. Oh, there's big contact. Big contact, oh, and strong. around goes Shoots. Kept it off all of the scenery though, but uh, yeah, that was a big moment. Oh, it certainly was. The uh, lightweight trucks uh, getting into each other, trying to go the long way with shoots, and there was certainly a bit of contact there. You can see they've come around the uh, triple E section now. It's uh, certainly been an eventful uh, first couple of laps. Gloves are well and truly off. That's for certain. As we see the back of your second on our screens, a bit of flames coming uh, underneath the uh, fern car. Did you see the flames? I it's saw a, a, a quite a bit of uh, Just very hot break. Yes, I think so. At the end of the back straight. You've so been sparking. Uh, it's not uncommon. Uh, you see that uh, quite a bit. There, there it is go. again. Lots of sparks from that left front wheel. Maybe uh, we don't see that in the, the light of brighter day. We're certainly seeing it in the evening dusk. Absolutely. Dale under immense pressure from Lachlan Fern, who set the fastest lap last time through. And they're both catching up to noon. And this is already looking like it's going to be an exceptional end to this race. Top three, Lina Stern, the fastest of the three at the back, the slowest of the three at the front. And Dale's going to try and sling it around the outside at the hairpin. Not the front. Not able to do so, just understeered and uh, couldn't keep the momentum up. Almost has to be vulnerable to uh, not from firm behind, but look as well, Oxley's catching up here. Yes. And, uh, although he had that disaster earlier on, he's making that ground as the other three in front of him are bickering over the bitumen. I think bickering is a good way to put <laughs> it as uh, they come around the. Uh, First S section, of course, on the short layout. It's right, left, right, 90 degrees for each of the corners. Noonan not quite as good. Uh, Dale, better exit than Noonan, but can't do anything about it. Here comes Fern with the big scent, the really big scent. He's up the inside of both of them using all the road. <laughs> and up the inside now comes Dale. Is he going to take the lead? No, there's going to be a bit of contact between those two. So Fern's gone from first to third, and off goes Noonan out wide, and Oxley comes through. Wow. <laughs> awesome way to end the day here at Winton. Putting on a show, that is for sure. So Noonan has gone from first to fourth in the space of two corners. So new leader Lachlan Fern, he's moved up from first to first. And Dale, out of all of that, somehow still in second position. Yeah.
<laughs> How did I miss out? What happened? Exactly right. He's coming under big pressure now from Oxley. The uh, big red Mack truck. Oh, he's lost the rear though. Oh, dearie me. Saves it, but here comes Noonan now with the momentum. The outside run. He's going to put two wheels through the grass. He's got the run. He's had to break a little bit earlier though, and uh, Oxley holds on. Still on a bit further back as well because Fern's caught up to the back of. Uh, uh, sorry, Shoots has caught up to the back of Fern after their tussle earlier on. Their uh, contact. Two laps to go. So Dale's coming under pressure from Oxley. You look to the inside there. And a big look. Noonan just behind. Uh, the, uh, the timing on the uh, left hand side of the screen has uh, stopped working uh, for you guys. So I, I can reiterate it is Lachlan Fern from Dale Oxley and then Noonan. Ah, just as I say, it has reset. That's uh, good. So that is again uh, the live timing. So Fern out front, personal best on the last lap. He's gapped this group. He said, yes. I don't want to be mixed up in your drivers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're all bumping into one another too much back there. We'll get out of here. And of course, uh, just interesting to note that Oxley is on the man of the fastest lap. Yeah. 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 From the uh, red truck, and there's a change for position in the uh, lightweight class. Shoots getting through on Fern, which is uh, good. Uh, good, uh, good recovery for Shoots. So we can come around the uh, final couple of corners to begin the final lap of the race. Oxley has the speed. Tenacity to be able to get through on the uh, final lap of this race. He's shown patience over the last couple of laps. Might have to get the uh, finger out on this final run around. He's closed the margin once again around turns one and two. In fact, Dale said his personal best on the last lap. And he did slightly gap Oxley that time through. Absolutely, yeah. Interesting. Oh, oh, Ooh. that red machine is slowing. Yeah, he's got a problem. A big problem. In fact, they're all slowed down. Uh, check a flag come out already that we haven't seen uh, I think it must have so a bit of confusion but we believe the uh, check a flag has already come out so, uh, we can see on our timing screens there's still one more lap to go so a uh, bit of a uh, premature end in that sense here he is Fern can still see underneath the uh, left front there is definite uh, flames and sparks from the brakes on, uh, on, on both sides, actually. No, here's the checkered flag being waved in front of us. So here's Fern crossing the line to take the win. Yeah. So I'm not really sure what has happened. Now the checkered flag's shown. Our timing screen has changed to grey, which says it's now the end of the race. Perhaps so the other guys stopped to have a bit of a look at the sunset. It is oh. a rather spectacular sky at the moment. Oh, I don't really know. So last lap, Lachlan <laughs> Fern from Harvey Dale, Ty Oxley, Mark Noonan, Mark Schutz and Riley Fern. But the uh, actual timing screen based on the lap that they're just going through says that Noonan finished second ahead of Oxley, Schutz and uh, Dale hasn't even crossed the line. Look, he's coming to a halt on the uh, back stretch.